you can reduce the glucose spike of your meal by up to 75% by just changing the order of the foods in it, which means fewer cravings, less inflammation, less inching towards diabetes, etc. The correct order is vegetables first, proteins and fats second, and starches and sugars last. Fuck it. In the past year or so, I have been tagged at least a kajillion times in nearly identical videos. The comments section of this one illustrates my reluctance to respond. Some people are grateful for this seemingly life-changing advice. Other people say it is absolute bullshit nonsense and this podcast is peddling misinformation. Please consider this my attempt at just clearing up the confusion. It is true, if you eat vegetables 10 minutes before your meal, you can reduce your blood glucose response to that meal. In this study, people with type 2 diabetes consumed ciabatta bread with orange juice, then waited 15 minutes before eating chicken breast and vegetables. When repeating the test meal but eating the protein and vegetables first, post-meal glucose and insulin levels were lower. Some people will say yes, but pausing between foods defeats the point because it doesn't reflect how you eat in the real world. Imagine grabbing a burger with your mates, eating the lettuce and tomato first, waiting 15 minutes before eating the burger, then waiting another 15 minutes before eating the bun. Not ideal. But the effect has also been seen when there were no pauses between foods. So you would still eat the lettuce and tomato first, then the burger, then the bun. Which is a more realistic way to eat, but still a terrible fucking way of eating a burger. Saying the order you eat your meals can influence your insulin and glucose responses to that meal is not controversial. It's been seen in numerous trials, where consuming vegetables, protein, or fats first can make a difference. And some long-term research suggests that eating vegetables first could be beneficial for people with type 2 diabetes. So what's the problem? Well, whilst this might be important for people with type 2 diabetes, it's less clear how important it is for everyone else. I have no blood sugar related issues. Do I need to dissect every single sandwich I eat and leave the bread for last? Am I not allowed to eat oatmeal anymore unless I eat something before it? How much should I worry about a normal transient increase in my blood glucose? Is micromanaging my blood glucose so important that I should consume lemon juice, vinegar, or even tomato juice at every meal? Do I need to eat everything slower and split my dinner up into two separate portions? There are concerns that people are taking this glucose monitoring and manipulating trend to an extreme. Hyper-focusing so much on one individual blood marker that they become unnecessarily carbophobic. Like being scared to eat plain potatoes, oatmeal, or even fruit. Possibly following dietary patterns which cause collateral damage to other health markers which currently don't get the same limelight. Pathologizing normal blood glucose responses because they're under the impression that higher numbers are always bad and lower numbers are always good. So, there are both sides of the argument. I hope that clears up the confusion.